patient mother, then be that first. Act like a loving, trusting uh, spouse by trusting his word, by trusting what he says, by being kind and, and doing those little smaller, small kinds of um, acts of kindness and like, and do, and, and then you will have that kind of relationship. It's not, I have, I have to have this first and then I will do what I need to do. So then I can be again, it's first be that kind of wife. So then you can do the things you want to do in the relationship. So then you can have the marriage or relationship that you want. That is how you do it. So I want you to close your eyes right now. Let's do a little exercise of what this looks like. And I want you to picture the person that you want, like picture your spouse, who you're, you want to improve your relationship with. Focus on this person. And then I want you to think about if you had the perfect marriage, if you had the perfect relationship, if you had the perfect guy, put yourself there. How does it feel? How does it feel if your husband was patient, if your husband was loving, if your husband said yes more often, if your husband did the things you wanted him to do, if he was more, um, if he validated you, if he if he was kinder to you, if he was more patient with the children, if you guys were connected, if you guys had amazing sex, whatever, okay? It's just what? how does it feel in your body? Find it. I'm sure it feels like you feel it in your chest, maybe your upper uh, diaphragm. And like, how does it feel? Feel that energy. What? And now I want you to ask yourself, what are you thinking about your spouse? What are you thinking about this person? Oh, he's amazing. I'm lucky to have this guy next to me. I'm so lucky. My children are so blessed to have this, this guy as their father. I am, I, I hit the jackpot. What is it that you are going to think about this man? once you feel this way? And then how does it make you want to act and show up in the relationship once you're feeling loved, once you think about this man in this way? Oh, he's amazing. He's so patient. He's so handsome. He's so dedicated. He's so spiritual. How do you want to show up? Does it make you want to be nicer to him? Does it make you want to let go of things easily? Does it make you want to be more vulnerable? Speak up and say what you want. Share your emotions. Open up. Say no more. Really stick to your boundaries more. What does it make you want to do? And then what do you want to offer this person? What do you want to offer this person from this place? Because this is how you want to go about your day in this energy. And you might lose it, but as long as you, my goal for you is to try to tap in, do this little exercise at least once a day, tap into this energy at least once a day until it becomes a habit, until you can tap into it like in a, in a matter of seconds, right? But at first you might, you might need to just put some music on and, and calm your body, close your eyes, like really picture yourself and act from this place. Because when you act from this place, what happens is that you are calling in what you want, what you really want. You are actually stepping into the relationship you want. You are transforming the your surroundings, which is really all you can do. You can only, the only things that are in your control are you and your environment. And by you doing this, you are changing yourself from the inside out, and you're changing your, your surroundings, your environment. 
because of how you will act and how you will walk around this relationships around your marriage because of what you are doing, because of what you're thinking, what you're speaking into existence about your marriage. And then I know you're going to be like telling me, well, but I don't see any changes because this is when most people give in. This is when most people give up on their marriage because they don't see the change or they don't, they don't appreciate the small little changes. And I want to quote something about faith because this is where faith comes in. This is where you get to hold on and keep believing your thoughts, keep believing in the marriage, even though you don't see evidence of it. And this, this quote comes from um, Patricia Holland, and she says, faith isn't really faith at all if you have nothing else to hang on to. So if you have something to hang on to, then that's not faith. That's facts. So in order for faith to come in, you have to believe in something that has no roots. Okay, so in the beginning, you will feel discouraged. That's normal. People around you are going to tell you that you're delusional, that you are crazy for believing in your marriage, for wanting to make things work. And I want you to hang on to the faith. If this is what you feel like you need to do, if working on your marriage, if saving your marriage, if improving your marriage and, and you are committed to this man, if this is your goal, then I want you to not judge yourself for doubting yourself and not judge others either for judging you for believing this delusional belief. Trust me, my siblings thought I was I was stupid for going back, getting back with my ex. It's like, what the heck are you doing? You're going backwards instead of moving forward. So I get it, okay? It's just they don't need to believe in you. They don't need to believe the same things you believe. You're the only one that needs to believe in this goal, in this um, mission, in this result that you want. You're the only one that needs to believe in it. And it once you start believing and building up evidence, the belief is going to become stronger and stronger. The belief is going to, to grow roots. And then it eventually it'll come true. I want to end with one little one segment that I got from the podcast um, that ignited this episode. And um, she says in the podcast, faith is believing even when it looks like it's not working and all the evidence is telling you there is no way. And yet you choose to believe, to feel and act in alignment with what you actually want, not what you've been creating unconsciously. Isn't that so beautiful? You get to believe in this new little seed, in this new little belief that you will make it through, that your marriage is stronger than this, that you will come out of this stronger than ever, that you will be more in love than ever, that you are made to be with each other, that you will have that unconditional love that you will have your happily ever after. You get to believe in that. Nobody else needs to believe in it. And you get to feed that water, that belief until it starts sprouting roots. Even when everything on the outside, even when ev nothing looks like it's coming out, right? Everything, you won't see it sprout, right? You won't see the little seed sprout and grow until it comes out of above ground. So keep believing. Keep, stay strong. 
And I promise you, you will get the relationship you want. You will have that relationship. You're, you will generate that. You will create this soil, this loving, nurturing, and growing soil for your marriage to flourish, for your spouse to flourish. But if anyone can do this, is you. You get to do this inner work for the sake of your family, for the sake of you. You will grow out of this. It's not that you're sacrificing yourself. This is a loving act that you're doing for yourself and for your marriage to choose to believe in this little thought, in this little seed and water it every day by doing the exercise, by speaking it into existence, by being grateful ahead of time, by being that spouse that you want to do, by acting from that energy so you can have the perfect marriage. If I did it, you can too. And if you feel like it, you need the help, you need to work through those blocks, those mental or those emotional blocks that have gotten in the way of you trusting your spouse again, or connecting to your spouse again, or communicating with your spouse again, or being friends again. If you want to go back to feeling in love with your spouse, to having that the happy marriage, Give yourself the support that you deserve because you don't have to do this alone. You've tried doing it alone. It's not working. You can do it with the help of people that have done it before. I have done it before. I have proof. I have evidence that it, I can help you. And this is why I incorporate coaching and breathwork because it is such a powerful tool to help you finally break those blocks, break free from those mental and emotional blocks so you can step into this person, this wife, this mother, this woman that you want to be without all the doubt, without all the trauma from the past pulling you down. And how I can better explain this is, is just from this imagery that came to me. Just imagine you're just feeling like you're drowning in your marriage. You're drowning in all the stress, in motherhood, in pleasing everyone, in work, in your career, in your business, and you feel like you're drowning, you feel like no matter what you're doing, it's never enough and you can never catch a break unless you leave something behind, unless something falls, unless something breaks, right? And you feel like there is, you can never let go of anything because if you do, something bad will happen. I've been there. Just Imagine you're just drowning in this waters and being dragged by all these weights pulling you down in the water and you feel like you can't breathe. You feel like you can't, you just can't catch up. You can't catch up and you're drowning and you're trying to reach the surface, but you have all these weights pulling you. What breath work and coaching does is every session unlocks a weight. So you can go a little bit higher, a little bit closer to the surface until you can reach up the surface above the water and take a breath and finally see things from a different perspective and no longer be drowning or overwhelmed in all these emotions, but actually be in control of your life of where you want to go without things dragging you and weighing you down. If any of this sounds like, oh my gosh, yes, I need your help. I would love to help you. This is my calling to be able to help you turn your relationships 
your struggling relationships into thriving relationships by making a better you. Because really, that's all that we can control in this life. Let me help you. All right, guys, that's it for today. We'll see you next week. Bye.